Hey, it's good to be back to Thursdays with Pastor Bethany. Um, I'm back from family leave, and consequently, I have been thinking a lot about spit up. Our baby is what the pediatrician calls a happy spitter upper, meaning that despite how long or short a feed is, how much time our baby is upright, um, the position he is fed in, how much he's burped or not burped, he spits up. He's continuing to gain weight and grow, so it's not a concern, but he spits up a lot. This morning, he spit up and covered himself as he had just been dressed. He got Dan, who needed to change. He got me. I was able to kind of wipe it off quickly, um, and it kind of set us in a tailspin as we were literally walking out the door, and so we had to quickly change, and we were late getting to the office, and oh, it was just overwhelming. And it's, it's just stuck because if I could change, if I could always make it go away, I would. The other day he spit up on me and it ran down my shirt, into my, down my pants, onto my sock and I was covered and I was so, oh, I was so frustrated because who wants to go out in the world and spit up, covered and spit up? Who wants to go out in the world marked? So it has me thinking about sin, not that our baby's spit up is sinful, but how sin marks us, how so often don't we wish that we could change what we're wearing, so to speak, to hide our sinfulness, our brokenness. Um, We talk about hiding our skeletons in the closet because, well, that's way easier than wearing the sins and the brokenness or parading our skeleton and owning who and what we are and do and the ways that we're marked. So if we were more honest with how we are broken, would the world be different? If I was more willing to wear clothes that had spit up on it, (laughs) as a metaphor for being more willing to say where I'm broken and be vulnerable about the mistakes and the sins that I keep reliving and keep entering into and keep doing over and over despite knowing better and trying harder. Would the world be a better place? I think so. And I think as I've thought about it all day that I'm going to be more compelled to not immediately change to let sometimes the spit up to spit up be there even if it marks my pants or my socks or my shirt as a reminder to be more vulnerable more real more truly present each day in this christian journey yeah so when you see me with spit up or a burp cloth (laughs) in the next weeks and months. Hopefully that's what we'll be thinking about, about being more authentic in who we are and who we've been created to be and in God's salvation for us.